financial gain okay because the collective that i'm talking to i'm getting that your rank in the spirit is rich and it wasn't matching here it wasn't matching here it wasn't matching here it wasn't matching here and i'm also getting people in this collective message that you was asking the spirit hey listen i know i'm somebody in the spirit i know i'm connected i know that you know i got rank i know that because i got rank because i am this person why isn't my spiritual my etheric body matching to my physical body why isn't my physical possessions matching to my etheric possessions and that is because you had to do something else along the way and you've managed to do that or you're about to do this or you're about to break this curse okay so yeah your etheric body and your your um your possessions because you are rich I'm talking to a collection a collective who is rich in the spirit all right who's wealthy in the spirit your ancestors are wealthy you've created wealth in past lives okay and it needs to match up here okay so it's coming you were always destined for this because this is who you are you've always been this person you've always been this person who has wealth okay in the spirit you have wealth it just hadn't translated here yet. It's about to translate. It's about to start matching. It has to match. It has to match. Trust me. There was never going to be a day that it wasn't going to match. It has to. So it's about to start matching. All right. Overstand that. Okay. Um, yeah. That's what I'm getting. So. Mm -hmm. That fortune is coming in. All right. about to go into another reading okay this is a collective reading okay um let's talk about fortune okay let's talk about fortune because i got about six collective readings here in motion all right and these are all messages that I received. Um, I will confirm these messages with the cards just for your entertainment. But these messages I receive, I don't need the cards for them, okay? I receive them without the cards, okay? So this collective message may not be for everyone, okay? Um, so if the shoe fits, wear it. If it doesn't, leave it for somebody else, okay? Okay, we're going to talk about fortune. That's the one I'm going to talk about today. Um, because I see somebody coming into fortune, a collective of people coming into fortune. Okay. Especially on April 8th. 8th is the number for abundance. Okay, and we're in the 8th. We're in the 8th year. Okay, year of the dragon. All right, so um, there's a lot of people in the collective right now who have been waiting a long time for some sort of financial relief and it's coming okay um also i'm getting to that there's a collective of you who need to um get some bank dirt like i don't know if you into hoodoo practices or what but i need y'all to get some bank dirt the spirit is talking to some of y'all who are into hoodoo who do hoodoo all right get some bank dirt research it or whatever that's what i'm hearing also i'm hearing too that some of you need to go to the casino that's not for everybody all right but some of y'all need to use this eclipse energy and head on over to the casino all right use some of this energy and head on over to the casino okay all right um yeah that's what i'm seeing too I'm also seeing something about um, like birth, like a birth, like an actual birth. Okay, um, this is not for everybody. Okay, this is for 
somebody that is expecting a baby or know someone that's expecting a baby but once this baby comes in this baby is going to bring forth fortune um it's gonna happen almost simultaneously okay well so if you have a business or if you have if you're connected with something like um like a business or a shop or something like that the day will be a five power day for me in 11 numeral cool um beautiful uh you guys follow sun moon in the comments okay he's an astrologer okay so yeah um yes you guys this is what's happening there's a baby coming soon absolutely there's a baby coming soon and this baby is going to bring forth fortune okay as soon as this baby comes through this going to be almost like an immediate windfall of money meaning if you have a business or you have something that you've been doing that accumulates some sort of income okay once this baby happens it's going to be like an open gate the gate is going to open i'm getting and something's going to come in either you're going to have a lot of clients that come in you're going to have a lot of books sold you're going to a lot of have you're going to have a lot of you're going to have somebody see you and like pick you up you know what I mean? A pick up your work or something like that. That's what I'm getting, okay? Um, and that's not for everybody, obviously, because everybody's not pregnant, <laughs> right? But you get what I mean. But for those of you who are not pregnant, um, this gate is going to open for you with this windfall of money when something happens, okay? Um, and it's going to be a something that happens like a sacrifice, okay so it could be the death of a family member peace and love steady peace and love um it's gonna be in, happening in the form of a sacrifice so like a cousin or a someone is going to pass away or again that's not for everybody but this is what's gonna happen you're gonna lose something and and then something else gonna come in and even if it's not you directly it's gonna be somebody close to you that's gonna lose something it's gonna be like a like somebody that you guys know, like a acquaintance or somebody in your family, okay? Um, yeah, sometimes those messages can be very dark, right? But it's going it to require a sacrifice, all right? Um, and if this has already happened, right? Let's just say you lost someone in the, in the past three weeks, all right? This is, that was the gate that opened, so expect something to come through okay expect a windfall of money or a windfall of abundance or some traction or some celebrity or some sort of picking up of people coming to you about your business okay um yeah sorry <laughs> you know um it's not for everybody you know uh what else yeah you know why this is happening this is happening because um you are the generational curse breaker okay and you've broken the generational curse okay there's someone of low vibration low vibration extremely low vibration that is going to pass away in your family or has passed away in the last three weeks all right this is the martyr this is the this is what the spirit on your family of that particular curse of a poverty came to collect as the last collection you get what i'm saying to you oh okay you broke this curse oh okay you did everything you need you gonna be the one to break the poverty curse okay you did your big one you about to do your your shit is about to come rolling in okay that spirit it's coming to take somebody for the last and final time. And it's going to be the person with the lowest vibration in your family. Or somebody with the lowest vibration next to you. Okay? So this could be a family member that is always in trouble. Somebody that's in a gang. Somebody that's always looking for, always looking for, for, for like, always looking to be in the street. Somebody that's doing, somebody that go looking and seeking for dirty, dirty de demonic shit. You know what I mean? That's that person. All right. Yeah. <sighs> wow. I asked this morning to free me from the spirit of poverty. Okay. This, this message is probably for you. All right. My cousin was murdered and his body was found last week. Oh, I'm so sorry, Akili. I'm so sorry, honey. My condolences, honey. 
my condolences unfortunately for the collective right those of you who are going to experience this death or have experienced this death um and this applies to you um this death is a sacrifice because you did your big one all right you've been doing everything that spirit asked you to do you've been releasing yourself from these strongholds you have been practicing whatever spell work you need to practice you've been tapping in with your ancestors you've been getting to know more about your history you've been doing everything that the spirit called you to do okay and this has allowed you to break the generational curse of poverty okay but the spirit on your family that was binding you to the poverty needs to take one last person or has took one last person now that that has happened expect something to open for you as far as your energetic field to be open to the abundance of receiving financial gain okay because the collective that i'm talking to i'm getting that your rank in the spirit is rich and it wasn't matching here it wasn't matching here it wasn't matching here it wasn't matching here and i'm also getting people in this collective message that you was asking the spirit hey listen i know i'm somebody in the spirit i know i'm connected i know that you know i got rank i know that because i got rank because i am this person why isn't my spiritual my etheric body matching to my physical body why isn't my physical possessions matching to my etheric possessions and that is because you had to do something else along the way and you've managed to do that or you're about to do this or you're about to break this curse okay so yeah your etheric body and your your um your possessions because you are rich I'm talking to a collection a collective who is rich in the spirit all right who's wealthy in the spirit your ancestors are wealthy you've created wealth in past lives okay and it needs to match up here okay so it's coming you were always destined for this because this is who you are you've always been this person you've always been this person who has wealth okay in the spirit you have wealth it just hadn't translated here yet. It's about to translate. It's about to start matching. It has to match. It has to match. Trust me. There was never going to be a day that it wasn't going to match. It has to. So it's about to start matching. All right. Overstand that. Okay. Um, yeah. That's what I'm getting. So. Mm -hmm. That fortune is coming in. All right do your do your um do your rituals do your spells do your road openers do your your um do, do do the shit that you be doing child i don't know whatever you be doing do that shit whatever the spirit called you to do do that shit you know what i mean <laughs> shit get on your big one all right <laughs> yeah because this 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 shit is coming in all right all right, let me pull some cards so we can get into this reading. All right. Y'all know I like to talk. Ugh. Yes. All right. Well, my angels and sisters, spirit guys, and I ask you to cover me and protect me. I ask you to allow me to see the messages quickly and precisely. Please block out any negative energies. So or energies or any people see it unseen I was trying to govern this reading or trying to enter this reading I say all right let's see which one what's getting in here you're welcome Akili <clears throat> excuse me spirit <laughs> look what came out great fortune all right gift with 17 the eight card stop playing see stop playing stop playing stop playing stop playing stop playing stop playing this is what i'm talking about okay gratitude to the spirit gratitude to the spirit okay 
gratitude. Period. Okay. All right. Let's see. Sending love to you. Wow. Okay. 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 All right. Listen, this is the story. Okay. So we got the great fortune card out here. All right. The great fortune obviously represents great fortune. Right. Your cup is about to run it over. Okay. All right. There's a lot of you that feel that have been feeling lately that something is just going to happen like it's you don't know what this feeling is but you just feel it it's like a gut feeling it's coming up from your gut like you just feel that uh, something's just gonna happen like you're just gonna wake up and some shit is just gonna be like you know and this is going to happen trust me all right Clarifying that great fortune card, we have stubbornness. And I'm going to pull the tarot in just a second because I know y'all love to see the tarot. Clarifying that great fortune card is stubbornness, okay? So, again, remember when I was talking about um, a sacrifice for this fortune and it being a low vibrational person in your family, okay? This stubbornness card represents that person, okay? Okay, this is a person who refused to change. This is a person who refused to elevate. This is a person who refused to do any of the work. Okay, I'm getting this person has had a lot of um, sit downs with the family or there's been a lot of family members or friends that have tried to intercede on this person's life and tell them, listen, you got to do better. Something going to happen to you if you don't do better. You got to change. You, you're going to end up in jail. You're going to end up hurt. You're going to end up on the street. You're going to end up killed. Okay? This is this person in the stubbornness energy. Okay? They didn't want to hear it. They wanted to keep doing what they was doing. They want to keep playing on devil's doorstep. And the devil was like, you keep knocking at my motherfucking door. I'm going to let you in. I'm going to let you in. <laughs> and guess what? They kept knocking on the door and they let them in. All right? So this is this person clarifying this great fortune card and this great fortune card is about to come in because a stubborn person refused to let go of ideals ideologies and shit that just don't match okay listen sun moon gift all right this is the gift that spirit is granting you that you are so well well deserving of okay because you've done the work okay your ancestors are saying that you are our wildest dreams okay and they are so happy for the work that you have done and honestly you could have been having dreams about um you, you could have been having dreams about more ancestors coming in, like more ancestors revealing themselves to you, whether it's through dreams or th through visions or through pennies and like little dimes and quarters and stuff all over the place. So if you've been seeing little trails of little monies all over, picking up pennies and shit, that's your ancestors. Hey, 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 hey. See us, we new here. We knew here, we've been here, but we just making ourselves known to you because we the ones with the big money, okay? We allow you now, babes. They letting themselves be known to you, okay? All right. <laughs> Not get out of my head. So we got the strategy card representing the gift card. So this is clarifying the gift card that I just shown you, all right? Now, this strategy is here because it took planning to get here. It took strategy, okay? It took faith, okay? It took tenacity. It took resilience. It took a lot of long nights. It took even homelessness for some of you guys. It took you sleeping on somebody else's couch. It took you living in shelters. It took you not giving up. It took you being in, in serious situations and still choosing to overcome and achieve and be your ancestors while there's dreams to receive this gift, okay? So this was strategy on your part, all right? The spirit was operating through you. One second.
okay so it took you guys experience in this you were having a strategy you didn't even know you didn't even know what you was doing you didn't even know that the spirit was like pushing you to you because that's what i'm saying y'all that's what i'm saying when y'all be in these situations when y'all be homeless and y'all be down and out and shit like that and y'all still be choosing to overcome y'all still be making a way y'all still be choosing to fight that be the spirit working through you because you're not resisting you're not resisting the spirit is still pushing it's it's strategy it's faith it's form you allow your ancestors and your spirit to work through others still helping others while you're in a messed up situation this is strategy on your part believe it or not you may not be aware of it but it's strategy on your part all right exactly sun moon exactly okay this is the family the family room here okay the fam family room okay the family room to me represents courts it represents a meeting place of meetings um and it represents divine counsel hold on let me get these bangs on my face <laughs> it represents divine counsel as well where people convene and make a decision okay all right so representing this family card is homelessness okay homelessness all right now some of y'all had to stay with family some of y'all had to stay with family that don't fucking like you some of y'all had to stay with family members that y'all done helped and then y'all needed something and this was the first time you ever asked for anything because you was in a mess up situation for the first time in your life and they acted like they was doing you a big one like like you never done nothing for them okay so this is for a collective of people who have never been in poverty like a, a homeless situation and you had one time where you found yourself in this situation and these people acted weird towards you they acted funny towards you they acted like you was a leech they acted like you was a bum when you never been those things okay family and friends exactly okay so you could have been in their living room okay you could have slept on the couch okay but but this family room card is also representing the the connection where i'm talking about how there's meetings that are being held okay there are divine meetings being held okay that is going to pull you out of the situation of poverty right because the, the the verdict is in the verdict is in the verdict is in gratitude y'all gratitude much appreciated the verdict is in y'all it's in because you did your work you put in your strategy you had faith and you overcame and you still gave from an open heart even when you didn't have okay so again your etheric body because your your wealth in the spirit is there because of where you're ranked it's going to start matching here in the physical because you did the work huh you did the work okay y'all should be proud of yourselves we also have the journey card out here right this has been a long road for some of you guys a long road okay years even for some of you okay there were instances where in which you did not know what the hell you was doing you, you didn't know but you you knew you never wanted to give up that's what you knew you knew you never wanted to give up it never crossed your mind to give up it never crossed your mind to turn your back on spirit it never crossed your mind it never crossed your mind yeah you had your days where you were like i want this to be over but you never had your days where you wanted to turn your back on spirit okay and this is why you're being rewarded okay right now representing this journey see since 2002 this shit is about to come in trust me okay we got this journey card out here and recognizing that you've been on a long journey to to avenging your ancestors gratitude someone gratitude you got this you you got this journey out here that you've been on for a very long time where you've been avenging your ancestors and avenging the people that came before you who didn't get a chance to touch this wealth babes 
okay when your ancestors reincarnate here the ones that choose to do so they will reincarnate into wealth why because because of you because of you because of you okay this is a um this is representing that journey card stop <laughs> guess what the journey ain't over yet because it's a it, it, it's not a race it's a marathon right but you know what's over the poverty okay you know you know you know the journey continues right but the poverty stops right okay now the spirit is saying don't expect don't expect to to be over for some of y'all this is not for everybody for some of y'all it's going to be a windfall for some of y'all it's going to be a it's going to be a slow trickle in and then it's going to start expanding it's going to start expanding because for some of y'all in the past it seemed like things weren't moving right and this gate that's going to be open you're going to start to see things moving it's going to like it's it's going to be like that um like the stock market like your life is going like that your business like how you think see the things start creeping up like like that you get what i'm saying so when you start to see that it's going to be little nuances that turn into big nuances because for a while things were stuck it didn't look like they were moving at all it was like on aol dial up y'all remember that it, it was on aol dial up <laughs> now you got big wi-fi now all right hey it, it, it got you got big wi-fi now shit you going up okay now it's not taking that long for your downloads to come in no more okay i'm glad you can feel it all right we got the house card out here right right a lot of y'all may not be in homelessness anymore but for those of y'all in the collective who are this is for you okay um you're getting a new house you're getting a new a new house a new place to be okay this homelessness is going to end all right um for those of you who are not living on your own yet and who have had to live with other people and are still living with other people that's for you okay representing that house card live and learn okay now this situation taught you a lot about letting go of attachments all right and yeah, this kind of this this losing your home was kind of embarrassing. It was kind of a situation you didn't want to be in, but you were kind of forced into the situation by spirits to teach you a lesson. Okay, go read the book of Job because a lot of y'all can relate to Job. Job never gave up. Okay, so listen. Yeah, so this live and learn card is like you learned a lot on this journey. You learned a lot, and you took this time when you were in this situation at somebody else's house a friend's or family house um to save your money to take up a new trade learn a new skill tap in with the spirit get more spiritual a lot of pe a lot of y'all a lot of y'all see i was job see exactly a lot of y'all took this time to took to fucking to fucking tap in with your higher selves y'all didn't waste this time and and feel sorry for yourself while you was on this person's couch or in this person's guest room y'all didn't waste this time y'all use it to find higher learning higher understanding and you use it to pray and you use it to get in tune and that's why you're being rewarded here okay that's why this live and learn card is out here because you're you you're an alchemist all you do is alchemize all you do is transmute energy that's all you do okay overstand that okay listen exactly book of job was a very powerful message absolutely Okay. 
so here we have the expectation card out here right okay this is you in expectation of a blessing all right you know it's coming you knew it was going to come you never doubted it but this is you in expectation this is where you have been okay all right clarifying that card is compromise hello mona clarifying that card is compromise okay clarifying expectation is compromise okay there was a lot of you guys as we just spoke on the book of job okay as it relates to this expectation card and this compromise all right there was a lot of you guys who had to come to the understanding or overstanding that this was not um something that was happening to you it was something that was happening for you and so that was the compromise you had to come to the compromise had to happen within you because of course when all of this stuff started happening to you and how long this journey has lasted all right there was a lot of you that was starting to get a little weary all right not saying that you was going to give up because that's not what i see here for the collective here but i'm just saying that it was very tiring and it's be been very tiring okay and so several times you had to have to come to these terms with yourself have a little powwow with yourself and be like hmm why is this happening higher self why is this happening to me and you had to take a second wind meaning you had to cry it out you had to understand that this was happening to happening for you not to you you had to remind yourself you had to regain a second wind okay this compromise was happening within you for yourself okay so that this expectation you could release because sometimes when we are in expectation for something to happen to us when we've been on a long, long journey um that means that we don't know that we have it already and you had to tap back in with yourself and get out of this expectation and get to learn the journey sit in the journey enjoy the journey the journey is a part of it all right if you're already looking towards the future how can you enjoy the journey you can't and until you appreciate the journey and where you're at you're not going to go where you want you're not going to get what you want that expectation is in the future the spirit doesn't want you to be like oh i'm waiting on my ships to come in no the spirit wants you to detach from the outcome and actually enjoy where you're at enjoy your plates right in front of you so if you can only afford to eat fucking cheerios every night and you're like when is my steak coming that's not the right mindset in the season that you're eating cheerios in the season that you're eating ramen get to be grateful for that that is the lesson that's the compromise in every season be grateful for where you're at and learn to sit in that season learn to accept that season because that season will not end unless you learn to accept that season that you're in why would spirit give you more if you cannot accept what you're in right now why okay so that compromise was happening between you and yourself and you had to have this powwow with yourself you get what i'm saying period ramen tastes like steak okay you better get to know it okay you want steak get to know ramen yeah in this season this is what we bless you with okay so you shall have more once you get comfortable where you at once you accept where you at you shall have more you know period need that ramen that ramen tastes good <laughs> no lie we got the thoughts card out here right Ooh. and then we got cl clarifying that card disturbance okay the disturbance card is um supernatural events and thoughts okay now along this journey collective there have been not one not two not three but several human beings that were acting as handlers and agents in your life trying to keep you stuck to your current situations or the situations in which you were in before okay um and these thoughts were on those people 
okay so again these people were a part of your journey in order to keep you stuck in order to handle you for you to learn how to love yourself and for you to learn how to be there for yourself and for you to learn how to be in your own energy and not overgive okay and not overextend okay because it was taking away from you a lot of y'all was living in y'all self known and y'all self known was heavy in the heavy in the energy of overextension overgiving huh and you called yourself nurturing and you called yourself being there for people and the one that is the shoulder to cry on but this is like there's such thing as excess and you was excessively being the ones that people was leaning on and you was excessively pouring from an empty cup because none of these motherfuckers was filling that shit back up and you had to learn okay see cancer very nurturing energy sometimes cancer can overgive to the detriment to themselves okay this was supernatural okay in nature meaning this was contracted to happen all right this is a part of the journey this is a part of your soul's evolution all right then we have a mature man out here you guys have to learn how to step in your north node all right this is a mature man out here okay then we have illness okay illness in itself represents weakness and fragility okay so you have to go from your south node which was making you weak to your final destination to elevating all right it was making you weak to your circumstances it was making you sick it was making you ill it was stopping your journey it was causing you delays so in order to become this mature man because this mature man represents a man and a woman you had to step into your north node okay you had to stop being so fragile you had to stop being walked all over you had to stop saying yes you had to start learning how to say fuck no hell no you had to start learning how to say no in several different ways in several different languages because motherfuckers was coming to you for shit knowing you ain't have shit you know what i mean <laughs> and because you had weak boundaries you was giving it to them but no more ashe no more <laughs> <laughs> no more <laughs> all right <laughs> you this mature man now okay <laughs> then we got the coffin card coffin represents death endings okay all right death to the past death to your old situation death to your old life death to the old version of you okay overstand that okay all right then we have the marriage card representing that okay marriage card representing that representing the death card meaning there's a sweetness that's happening between you and your higher self and y'all married each other okay y'all done married each other this codependency has left the building okay and you guys are in christ consciousness all right you guys are living in your high self okay you're married married to the spirit baby all right then we got this child card out here this represents your inner child okay representing that inner child card represents memory so this is the akashic records yes um drea drea barty this is a collective reading okay this memory card you see that represents your akashic records okay so the old you had to die in order for you to be resurrected again as your in your christ body okay and that's exactly what happened on this journey okay you died for your sins okay overstand that all right the old you died for your sins and now you are here awakened full in your true body and so because you are in alignment with your higher self and you are aligned with your christ consciousness and your etheric body you shall receive your etheric rewards and the rewards that travel 
that follow you into every life and every life are coming to align with you in this physical existence right here and right now okay <laughs> thank you my love i appreciate y'all y'all so funny i love y'all um but yeah that's what's happening and you know what every life yes this child card out here though is deeper than that because a lot of y'all had to go back to your child self and go pick up the pieces and go collect your old soul fragments this was a part of this journey okay this is a part of this journey collecting your old soul fragments from childhood there were a lot of you guys who had to relive childhood abuse okay s a okay there was a lot of s a that you guys had to overcome okay and you guys had to heal through that okay there were some of you guys in the collective that were recovering from a spirit of unalivement as well that wasn't you that was that supernatural stuff trying to attack you okay you understand now let me get into a little bit of the tarot and then we're gonna close out the reading okay I love this for y'all. I really do, truly. Okay. All right. So we have the Seven of Pentacles out here. Okay. Seven of Pentacles represents hard work and diligence, but in the reverse, it represents distractions. Okay. All right. Work without results. Okay. So for a long time, you guys were giving yourselves there was a lot of trial and error in your journey um collective okay so some of you didn't really know where what you were doing or where you were going but um you just kept throwing things at the wall until they stuck you never gave up so this collective is one of those collectives that throws things at the wall okay let's try this all right let's 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 give our all let's see what's going on let's see let's see mm, it's not really moving all right do something else that aligns with you mm, it's not really moving okay i'm getting some of you in the, in the collective have done many things in your lifetime before you found your true self okay and um you didn't really know what you were doing but you kept throwing things at the wall until something stuck until something ignited a fire in you okay all right and spirit is saying that perseverance that did that diligence is what is releasing you from this strongholds of poverty okay we also have fated to suffer here representing that seven of pentacles okay all right as you can see there is some evil spirit giving her a rotten apple okay and she thinks she's fated to suffer all right the seven of pentacles and you guys figuring out what sticks what you guys not knowing what's 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 going on what's for you you trying to trial and error and do the things that you think is going to work and you persevering until you found what it is that aligned with you okay 
but during this process you guys felt like you were fated to suffer there's a lot of you in the collective that felt like you were fated to suffer meaning nothing's happening nothing's working <sighs> i don't know well, why am i being stuck like this okay you were being held up because that was a moment in your life in which you were supposed to go through and release all attachments like i said before okay Things were supposed to feel like that. You were supposed to feel like you were the, at the end of the rope. You were supposed to feel like Job. You were supposed to feel like that. Because your faith was being tested. How strong are you, my soldier? How strong are you? Do you really truly believe? If so, let's take everything away and see if you still have the same faith. Okay? So you weren't fated to suffer. Again, it wasn't happening to you. It's happening for you. But some of you guys thought this. Okay. We also got the Queen of Cups out here. You see. All right. The Queen of Cups represents a calm and compassionate woman. Someone who's very fertile. Okay. In the reverse, it represents someone who is a martyr. Someone who is a tyrant. Like. All right. Someone who is insecure. Okay. So. Representing the Queen of Cups, we have atonement, okay? Atonement, all right. Now, you have atoned for your sins because even though you had knives stabbed in your back from these quote-unquote handlers, family members, agents, etc., all right, you still persevered and you still kept going, all right? You were... You went from being the Queen of Cups in reverse to being the Queen of Cups in the uprights, okay? So for some of you in the beginning of your journey, the humanness came over you. And of course, we all feel like this at times when things are going on and you felt like a martyr. You felt like, damn, like, am I the sacrifice for everyone's shit in my family? And it's okay to feel like that, but it's not okay to live there. And for a little while, not a long while, a little while, you guys were beating yourself up about being in this martyrdom energy. And it was stagnating, prolonging your process, okay? So again, you had to go from that south node to that north node. And a lot of that had to do with that queen of cups in reverse energy, okay? You having knives stabbed in your back by everyone that you know and supposedly loves or you thought loves you. Okay, and you were sitting in that energy as if to say, why me? Why do I have to be a victim? Some of y'all was in that victim consciousness, okay? Not anymore. You're the queen of cups in the upright, okay? You're walking in your full power. This is why this, 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 this abundance is coming to you, okay? We have the ten of wands here. You see that? Ten of wands? Ten of wands. The Ten of Wands in the upright is responsibility and accomplishments, but in the reverse, it's overstress, burnt out, the inability to delegate, okay? Representing that, we have the triumph of lies. What's up, Layla? We have the triumph of lies, okay? Right. Now... Sorry, this is this is different. Okay, sorry. Sorry, I'm sorry. <laughs> um, yeah, we got the triumph of lies, right? Okay, now, um, representing the ten of wands. So there was a lot of you who had this understanding that your your power wasn't as strong as it was and this is because people lied to you about who you were okay and this is because they beat you down they abused you and they told you you were nothing and they told you you were never gonna be nothing you were the black sheep okay you were the chosen one you are the chosen one all right you're the one that nobody talks to the one that nobody likes the one that is the truth teller all right and people made you feel like you were an outcast the middle child there you go people make you feel like you're an outcast because you have a different state of opinion because you think different because you look at things different okay people lie to you 
about your queendom and your kingdom because they wanted you to think less of yourself because they knew exactly who the fuck you was. All right. This is why we have this skeleton, this truth of lies, wearing this crown. Because for a long time, you didn't overstand your power. You are walking around with this feeling of what was me? Why me? Why me? Okay? Why not you? Okay? The enemy does not burglarize houses, vessels. Okay? It does not attack people who don't have anything. So, if the enemy is constantly attacking you, it means that you are rich in spirit and that you have wealth in spirit. And these people didn't want you to know this. So, you were walking around as half of yourself wearing a crown, but your crown was cloaked by these lies that these people were telling you. Okay? No more, though. No more. All right? We also have the King of Swords out here, right? The King of Swords represented by pre-chance to dream, all right? The King of Swords is someone who is in their right mind, someone who uses head over heart to make decisions, a good leader, but in the reverse is somebody who's manipulative and weak, okay? Now, <laughs> there's a Judas in everybody's story there just is <laughs> there's uh, there's a judas in everybody's story it's a collective message um yeah it's a collective message all right there's a judas in everybody's story okay this pre-chance to dream here right you guys had one person it could have been your mother it could have been your father it could have been your sister okay it could have been anybody all right this person was holding on to you for dear life. This was the person you couldn't shake the most. Okay? They was holding on to you for dear life because they saw you with a crown and they wanted it. They wanted it. They wanted it so bad. Okay? This person, you had to release. Release them. Okay? That's what you had to do. You had to release them. Okay? So this could have been a brother, a sister, a mother sister and mother okay but they wanted your crown it wasn't it wasn't for them babes it wasn't supposed to fit on them and this is the thing collective this person or persons that you had to release that was you you were stuck on like white on rice i'm telling you at this time before you came into your full self you were stuck on like white on rice you were stuck to these people because you felt bound to them. It was almost like, I can't, I can't not help my sister. I can't not help my mom. I can't not help my... You felt bad. You felt like you couldn't detach from them. Okay? There was a stronghold between these two people, these two car wrecks, these two individuals. But all they was doing was sucking the life out of you. No lie. These people would do things to you behind your back and then act like they didn't do them. Say things behind your back and act like they didn't do it. Okay. But they wasn't able to take your crown. Okay. Because you became the king of swords in the upright. Okay. You started to get aware of what was going on. I'm also getting too collective. There's some of you who started to have dreams about this Judas person. This traitor. This weakling. You were starting to have dreams about them. When you were starting to get close to the end of your previous lower vibration. Because every single time. This person was a monitoring spirit too. This person used to monitor you. even Whether it was online or whether it was through their dream state. Or whether it was through their own third eye. They would, they would monitor you. There was a monitoring spirit, you know? Um, but what I mean to say is that um, this person was, you was getting downloads about this person. It's almost like every time you had a revelation from spirit about this person, that this person was supposed to get out of your life or that they was a dark spirit in your life or they need, didn't need to be in your life no more. Every time you would come into some information about you needing to let them go, they would call. They would text you. 
they would look for you like you would get some sort of information you wouldn't they would knock on your door like you feel what I'm saying to you yeah okay you got rid of this person though because you became the king of swords and in, in the upright okay you have the two of cups out here exactly a lot of y'all needed to go no contact because these people were ruining your life they were holding up things they were in the way okay some of y'all couldn't figure out why they were delayed so you're like damn so i did all the work i did everything i needed to do i started the business i started what i needed to start um i gave up the alcohol i gave up the food blah 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 but why is things still delayed oh because you didn't give up the person yeah that's where a lot of you guys were at no more though okay a lot of you guys are no contact like akili completely no contact and a lot of you guys had to go no contact because this person was energetically blocking you from things that needed to come in the the blessings needed to come in but it needed to be made way for they needed to make room and this person was taking up way more room than they should have been okay yeah so lastly we have out here the two of cups okay two of cups two of cups represents partnership and connection in the reverse it represents imbalance broken communication okay now we got the masquerade card out here all right masquerade what do they do in masquerades they wear masks all right they wear masks okay right to me this heavily represents you no longer masking you no longer denying the truth you no longer denying yourself healing you no longer denying the journey and the journey finally coming to an end of you in your last state okay so this imbalance is over you're coming in full connection with yourself and your higher self in your north node okay so congratulations collective welcome to the rest of your life okay congratulations that is the end of your reading